Hey, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. This is step one, day one, part one of our sim racing rig is going down, man. We're gonna do a quick little tour here. I'll show you around a bit, show you where we're gonna be putting the rig at, show you what our current uh, setup is here in the place, man. So we'll just kind of go from there. So we'll have some fun with it. Stay tuned. Let's take a look at the current setup and then uh, we'll, we'll talk about plans. We'll talk about um, uh, just moving some things around and how everything's gonna look once it's all done. So thanks for rocking with me. Let's check it out. Hey, so what's up? We're gonna take a look at the current setup that's going on right now before the, the major overhaul. So this is how the, the, the desk is sitting right now. Um, have the 49 inch curved monitor here, sound bar in front, um, which works well. As you all know, I've been flight simming for years and years and years. So have the honeycomb there and then have some T-flight rudder pedals down there. And my, uh, my machine just sits off here to the right right now. So, and then over here, I just have some like, you know, some of my little goodies, some of my little trinkets or whatever. Um, of course, go Bills all day. Bills Mafia all day, all day. But yeah, so talking about a couple of things that I'm going to, that you're going to see change immensely in this space. So, um, Right here, where the uh, where the where the cabinet is right now, this is where I'm going to be building the simulator at. And so, as you can see, we got it here in all its glory. There we go, next level racing FGT, the simulator cockpit. There, we also have a monitor here, but I'm actually going to take the monitor from over in here because this one over here is actually a 4K. Um, 120 uh, hertz. So I'm gonna take that one from over there and I'm gonna swap these out. So you'll see the, the simulator's gonna sit here in this area. Um, and so what I'm, what I'm basically gonna have here is I'm basically just gonna have like a dual setup. So on my right side here, I'm gonna have um, my flight simulation, you know, my flight simulation stuff. And on this side right here, I'm gonna have the uh, the actual the actual racing cockpit. So I think that's gonna fit in there really nice. It's gonna look awesome. I'm gonna have to take this and move this probably behind, um, but that'll be good. So a couple other things here, like I need to initially I was gonna try to try to have these three monitors up here like this, but. Um, this monitor I'm actually not using. I have this Mac mini here. I was gonna plug up and play around with and have this Mac, this whole Mac thing uh, on that screen, but I'm actually not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, take these two screens, I'm gonna shift them over to the left and put them just perfectly center. And I'm gonna get rid of this third screen. And what's gonna happen is once I built the simulator right here uh, in this area, once I build it, there'll be a, uh, uh, it's going to have a monitor arm that's mounted for the monitor. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this particular monitor, I may mount it right here on this wall. Um, and I might use it for, I'm not sure yet, you know, I might be racing and the game might be on, I might want to, you know, I might want to have the game up there or uh, I might use it for statistics or something while I'm racing. I'm not sure yet, but, but there she is. This is the uh, the current desk tour. As you can see, this is pre, pre simulator, pre build. So as you see, as we start getting some of this stuff out of here, you'll start to see kind of a little bit more um, how this is all going to come together. But I think it's going to look awesome. Take a look at this before, and as you see, you know I've been working on my branding already. Photo virtuoso sim racing. Merch coming soon. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be awesome. So last thing I'll say real quick that's important about this um, is going to be court management, you know. Uh, so this is going to be a really important thing I'm going to come back to as I'm building the simulator out. But, you know, I want all of this to just look really tight and concise and awesome. So I'm going to be putting a lot of work into this here over the next um, probably it's probably going to take me about a week maybe a week and a half to build it out, especially with uh, with work and everything. So thanks for checking out the current desk and stay tuned for some more. It's gonna look totally different here in about a week and a half.
Hit that like and subscribe button too to follow along with this process. And there it is, ladies and germs, the level racing FGT simulator cockpit, and it's going down. So I'm starting to build this out. I got that in right now. I have a little little uh, keyboard. I wanted a keyboard with a mouse combination, so didn't have to worry about that. Like when I'm racing and doing things like that, we got some LEDs, some flexible LED uh, strips that I just purchased off of Amazon. Just kind of some generic strips, but just to light some things up once we once we start getting going here. So um, our plan here, like just to talk about a little bit, we're gonna move this this bookcase right here or this shelf or whatever you wanna call it. Again, go Bills. Um, uh, you know, gotta throw that in. We're gonna move this right here. We're gonna move this on the other side. Uh, can I show you that? Can't show you that right now. I got too much stuff back there, but we're gonna move it on the other side. And so you'll see in a moment, once I get everything moved out the way, I'll show you what I'm talking about and we'll talk about it um, and we'll talk about it further. But I'm going to move this bookcase out of the way. The sim rig is going to sit right here next to what we already got going on with our current setup right here. So the sim rig is going to sit right in this hole here. Um, again, I'm going to move the 50 inch TV that's over there. I'm going to move that because uh, it's actually a monitor. Um, so I'm going to move that 50 or I'm sorry, that actually might be a 55 or a 60, but I want to move that over here. All right. And I'm going to take this away because I'm not using this monitor. I think I'm going to end up mounting it on the wall up here, get it mounted so that, uh, you know, maybe I can look at some stats or from whatever. I could have a game up here, had Lakers, the Bills, had the Bills, uh, the Super Bowl game for this year, the Bills Super Bowl game. Um, we can definitely get that up there as well. So, <laughs> but thanks for rocking with me. Let's get into the build. Thanks for tuning in. We'll, we'll have some, uh, we'll have some, um, you know, updates along the way. Let's check it out. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up? Thanks so much for tuning in. It's time to get it cracking. Let's go ahead and get everything out the box. This will be obviously step one. We got our rig here. So let's go ahead and start getting some of these components open and see what we got in here. So, ah, my trusty, my trusty butter knife. The butter knife always, always is a good thing to use. So, uh, you know what? I wasn't really thinking about that, but that's actually a really good idea. I think while I'm building this out, I think I'm gonna move my couch here just to give me a little bit more room. I was just looking like, I hope that this is the one that, you know, this one comes up and then this one comes up like that. Okay, cool. So, I'm actually just gonna move this couch out the way. I'm not really using this area of, uh... so again, we have a couple of our, our LED lights, wireless keyboard, so a couple basic parts there, but here we go. Crack this joint open here. See what we got. And this thing is pretty heavy. Just as a point of reference, if you're, if you're having it delivered to your house or something like that, this thing is a beast. So, of course, it's not going to make much sense to. I was thinking about taking the box out because I kind of wanted to see what the box looks like, but it's so heavy, it's probably a good idea to get the contents out of the box and then get the box open. So, I think that's gonna make the most sense. So uh, let's take a look at what we're getting out of the box here. So we have a little, uh, I think maybe I'll leave these components. No, I was gonna say I was gonna leave them in the bag for now, but let's go ahead and pop them open, see how they feel and everything. If we're setting this up, so whoa, this is the little lumbar support. It'll go right down here in the chair. Let's see how that feels. That, that feels good just sitting in my, in my office chair, so. That's really, really nice. Has a nice little black suede finish on it. Put all the trash down there. I built that one out of PVC. Go ahead, we'll take this over here. 
and um, and I bought the seat for it. I bought uh, off of Yahoo. I mean, I'm sorry, off of uh, Craigslist from a guy who was selling a uh, he was selling an old Mustang seat, like forty bucks. I think it was an old GT seat. So I bought that for forty bucks, and and it was nice. So here's the base. You can see there. Nice, nice. Nice leather. It's looking good. Pretty robust. Now here's the wow. Woo! This is very heavy. It's a lot heavier and robust than than I thought that it would be just by looking at photos and things. Yeah, I mean this plate. This plate is very heavy. I would say. A good 25, a good 25 pounds right there. A good 25 pound pedal plate there, I would say. Screws and washers and one other thing in here. That is being stubborn. So all of these three came out of these, these two here. So we'll keep those together. Opening things, but yeah, it wasn't that it was it was bad by any means. I enjoyed the rig. I had a lot of fun with it, but um, it uh it took a while to get put together. Like it really did get everything cut out and put together. It was a fun project, so I didn't get a chance to to uh, to document that project. So I decided to definitely make sure I document this project in this build. There's actually not that many pieces. I think once we once we start getting going on it, it's probably gonna go relatively fast. Here's another one of these pieces that look just the same. Stair tape. And here's the box. So this is a really cool, uh, this box is really cool. Check out the, the artwork on that. How beautiful that box is. If you can see it in a moment, drop it down. There you go, and that's what the box looks like that it comes in, it's cool. I keep some boxes. Uh, this box will not be one that I will keep, maybe. I might keep it just in case I ever upgrade down the line. But I feel like if I ever upgrade this rig down the line, I'm probably just buying a brand new one, so I'll probably just get rid of it. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to uh, go ahead. I'm gonna actually lay this, lay all of this out exactly like it is in this instruction manual. I think it will be much better, it will be much easier for me because I'm sure the instructions like for example, we'll come a little closer, but I'm sure these instructions are gonna are gonna reference these pieces. I'm just I'm praying and hoping you can see that, but are gonna reference these pieces by the name. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do to try to make this much easier. I'm gonna lay this out just like it is. Um, I'm gonna lay this out just like it is in the instructions. That way I know the the pieces that they're referring to in the build. So as I'm building this out, so. We'll, we'll, build, we'll put it right out how they have it. So we got side frames. These are side frames. We have wheel plate. Wheel plate. Side frames, wheel plate, one. Floor pulse. Ah, oh, let's see. They don't give a lot of instruction as to which bolts to use. Okay, so the best way to do this first piece is definitely to lay it down on the side and then screw it in. Trying to do it any other way for me doesn't really seem to make sense. So, 
This first little piece is a little tricky, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little tricky. Getting it all lined up and in there. But yeah, these are kind of weird. Yeah, they're really weird. So just take your time with them. You know, don't rush. Got nothing but time. We got the first two pieces assembled here, which is the front plate and the uh, and the arms. Uh, what I'm going to do now, though, is, is work to get everything kind of tightened up and buttoned down. Ugh. Tightened up and buttoned down a bit. Things are pretty loose. I would definitely suggest, like, when you're building this out, if you happen to build it, um, that you build it upside down. Um, because, to me, it's just easier to get to the parts that way. So that's just my thing. But let's go ahead and get it all tightened up real quick at the early stages before we, we go any further. Work on the old trusty iron board for this next little piece. to assemble in the seat. So let me grab these instructions and see what we need to do here. It's getting there, all right. So we wanna attach the rails with two. So let's pull this up here. See about getting this assembled. like those guys on like hot rod tv or something like i'm building a chassis on a 67 gto or something i mean that's how i'm playing it in my head i used to be that was one of my favorite uh that was one of my favorite shows growing up was uh hot rod tv man so watch those guys build and just been in love with cars my whole life man so this right here is a dream come true being able to put something like this together Okay, so let's see what we're doing. So they want us to attach them. Um, okay. I see. Oh. And then the play. Okay, then again, like I said, ju just like with the frame, I think it's better to build, uh, to assemble the seat upside down as well. these brackets that you have to attach. Now, what's interesting right now that I can see is that
not the easiest thing to put together. But hey, we're making progress. That's what's most important. And there we go. Finally got, uh, finally got these bolts in. Took a while to try to figure out how it all lines up. If you are putting this rig together, just take a look right here at this video and what I'm doing. Maybe even move this camera over just a little so you can see, but this is how these screws go into the, into the, uh, this, the wheel. I'm mean, sorry, into the, uh, into the seat. One, two, three, like this. And then your knob, you'll fit into one of three various positions. And for right now, I'm just gonna leave it up like this until we get it all calibrated and squared away. But I do just wanna make sure everything's tight like it should be, so. <sighs> Yeah, this definitely took takes some time getting getting used to and things, but again, if you're building this on your end, just take note of how this uh, this whole thing goes together here. Okay, and it's not going into the hole. <sighs> yeah, oh, this is so frustrating. Hmm. Frustrating. Seems like these companies put a lot of effort into making sure all of this stuff is, is good, but sometimes the designs I'm just not sure about. But anyway, we finally got it together. So we'll work on the other side. We'll be back in a minute. All right, so we're finally at the point of uh, just about to attach the seat. We got this, this right here, right here alone is probably taking me about about three hours to do. Um, so this and the seat. The seat is the most difficult part. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how it all goes together, but let me grab it and uh, we should be able to attach it to the rig. So this seat is very heavy. I'll say the bulk of the, the bulk of the weight in the package is definitely just this seat alone. So, uh, just be careful with it because it is quite heavy. I'm having a little bit of trouble with getting this to lock, lock back the way that I want it to. I'll have to kind of play around with it a little bit more and see how, see how to get it a little bit more tight right here. Um, 
we might have to change these screws around but for right now since we got it all put together we're gonna go ahead and get it mounted now I drive a Mustang in real life so I want that same sort of feel like I kind of know how a, how a sports car should feel and uh, I've been doing some research uh, so personally oh man this thing is a beast personally uh, personally I think I'm gonna go with with the GT setup that's kind of similar to that. Because when I get into my car, I normally put the put the lumbar, I'll put, I mean, I'm sorry, I put the seat all the way down and I like for my legs to be supported by the, uh, by the base. So we're looking pretty good there. I mean, that kind of slid on pretty nicely. Let's see what bolts I need here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get this moved into position where it's gonna be. I'm gonna move this out of the way, put it back where it's gonna be for now. So I'm gonna flip this around, kind of get it into position because we're basically done with this base unit, kind of putting it together. We've got a couple more components. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll play um, the pedal plate, a couple other things to go, but, but we're looking really good. So right now, since it's getting pretty heavy anyway, I'm gonna start trying to, I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way here, ever so slightly. Go ahead and start attaching this to the rig. Now, as I was talking about before, it is definitely a good idea to to uh, okay. Looks like I might be there's a bolt back there. Okay, that's fine. So uh, sorry about that. Just want to make sure this thing is right when I'm putting it on. Again, this is going to be another one of those things that I'm going to end up adjusting a lot once I put the actual wheel on here. So for right now, I'm just going to I'm just going to make sure that it's in place like so. Let's see, it's the 50s, right? Am I looking at this right? 250 millimeter bolts and repeat on both sides. So I think I'm good. It's just kind of being weird. Let's see. difficult to do this without looking at it but come on get on in there boy okay and partly of it is I'm taking my time and uh, you know not rushing or anything like that so
what's up, what's up? Thank you so much for tuning in to the build, man. We are making our progress and doing really well with it. As you can see, we're starting to really get the rig all put together. It's looking great. It's looking wonderful. Got a whole bunch of trash back here. We got to get out at some point, but all in all, man, this thing is looking amazing. I'm super excited about, you know, getting the rest of it taken care of, getting the rest of it finished. Um, it's going to be great. Tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be picking up the uh, the monitor mount for it. So, so that'll be kind of interesting to pick that up. Um, see what that whole monitor mount looks like and everything with that. And, uh, and we should be pretty good to go, but I'm really happy so far with how everything's turning out. Really happy with the progress, ready to get this thing all built and put together and get out there on the track. So, man, thanks for rocking with me so far. Man, we just got a little bit more to go and we'll be out there racing, so. Okay, this is day two of the build. May not necessarily be part two on the videos, but this is day two and this is where I am. So I got everything attached. Everything's looking really nice. As you can see, I went ahead and, and got the pedal plate on. I couldn't find the screws last night, but I did end up finding those screws. So that is looking really nice in its place. Let's step back a little bit from what you saw yesterday. And you can see that bookcase is out of the way. I got some lights installed under the desk. We'll have some other light features here going in just a moment, but this is what we're working with so far. So it's looking great. Quick little tour of what we got here. Now, for me personally, too, I this is you know you can have this in F1 style or you can have it in GT. I personally have a bit of a of a hybrid here going. So I have the seat in the in the F1 position, and then I have the pedals in the in the uh, in the GT configuration. And for me. Um, it just feels the most to real life. You know, I drive a Mustang in real life and I want the similar feeling when I'm in this. I mean, I feel like my car is really comfortable. So when I'm in here, I definitely want this to be comfortable and feel natural. So this is what we're working with so far. We got a little bit more to go. I got to run out today and go to Micro Center and pick up the, uh, and pick up the, uh, the monitor, the monitor arm uh, for this. So, yeah, man, we're rocking and rolling. We're making progress. Hey, so what's up? Thanks for tuning in back to day two of the build. Uh, this is day two, but not necessarily part two of the build. So right now, <clears throat> really good yesterday. Um, I would say the seat was probably the hardest thing getting together on this rig. I just came back in from Micro Center, uh, picking up the FGT monitor stand. So I'm about to go ahead and install the monitor stand here. And then once I get that installed, um, We'll be pretty good to go. I'm going to take the TV that I was talking about before. I'm going to take that TV off of this monitor stand that I have over here. I'm going to put it on the rig. So once I do that, man, we'll be just about ready. So thanks for rocking with me, man, and watching this build. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for a little bit more, okay? Like a 50, 55 inch or whatever screen. So for me, it's going to be pretty important is to have this screen back as far as far back as possible so i already know that i can i don't even need to measure that with the wheel or nothing like that we're gonna go ahead and get that already taken care of and then i know i'm gonna have to switch i'm gonna have to switch this bracket i'm gonna have to switch these because i know i'm gonna need the the wheel to probably be up a little bit more but uh but we can take a look at that when the time comes. Right now, we'll we'll work on getting everything attached in here. So we'll grab that. We'll grab a nut. We'll start getting this monitor arm attached.
hey what's up okay we got everything attached for the monitor so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the monitor installed now I'm kind of just working on the height again no pedals no no uh, no wheel right now no pedals so right now uh, I'm just kind of eyeing things about where I think it should be let's go on over install the monitor and uh, and the rest of the arm okay so I'm just about ready to install the monitor here. Just about ready to get it installed. I was just thinking about the height, how I think everything should be in comparison to like the wheel deck and where I think that that's gonna kind of sit. I wanna start out with this height right here. So um, let me get this tightened in here. I had a little, I just had that sitting there just as a, as a placeholder. So for right now, we'll just hand tighten it. And I'm only gonna do one. And then I'm just gonna leave it like this. However this is, however it looks, we'll leave it that way. And then um, once the pedals and everything get here, we'll, we'll work on the rest of that that way. Let me just pull this back just a second, just a bit. Yeah, so we'll get all of this buttoned down much more. Okay. We'll see how it all turns out. Like that? Nope. Ah. So, I put the brackets on backwards, but it's not really gonna matter. I mean, this TV is a rectangle, so it doesn't matter if I flip it upside down for right now. I'm gonna flip it upside down. Uh, so I put the bracket on backwards, so I'll have to go back and change that later. But still. So yeah, TV's backwards, but this is kind of where it is at that position. That right there is gonna be entirely too low, but at least we can kind of get a nice view of what that might look like. Well, let's pull the camera back just a little bit real quick. You get a little bit better view of that. Of course, that monitor is going to be way higher, but I did want to just get it attached for now. I got to take it off, flip it around, redo the brackets. So, uh, so that'll be something that we end up doing on tomorrow. But for right now, this is it for today. So thanks for tuning in. Get the uh, pedal deck on and, and some other things. So we got pedals coming. We got um, some other things coming uh, later on in the week. So stay tuned. What's so up? Welcome back. This is day three of the build. Got some goodies in today. I was not expecting for these to come in today at all. So I'm super excited about this. I was at work and got a notification that I had a shipment, so I'm super excited. Got the P1 wheelbase, I'm sorry, the, the P1 wheel and the V1.1 wheelbase. I had this wheel on the uh, previous rig that I had on my uh, PPC rig. I had it, I enjoyed this wheel a lot. It was on sale, so I bought it. Um, so we're gonna start with that. Uh, but eventually, I'm gonna move over to the, uh, to the BMW uh, GT3 wheel. So that'll be one of the upgrades that's coming in the future. Then we have the B1.1 base. All right. And I'm excited about this. I had the other base before for the PS4. Um, and it was cool. It was great. Um, it was for PS4 and PC, but I'm curious to see what this is going to be like. Um, it's supposed to have some updated internals and things like that. So I'm excited to see how this is all going to feel. Let's go ahead and get it installed real quick um, and get it on the rig. That way we can, I gotta take this off too. I gotta take the mounts off, flip it around because <laughs> I put the mounts on backwards. But once I do that, that'll allow me to get everything centered up good. I can uh, set my wheel, my wheel deck where I need it to and we can kind of go from there. The other thing that I probably need to do though before I do that actually would be to would be to actually turn on, like get in iRacing or get in game, uh, like a set of Corsa, one of the two, and set it up that way. Because it doesn't really make a lot of sense to set this up. Um, 
doesn't make a lot of sense to set everything up without like being in the cockpit of the car, if that makes sense, because how do I know where I want this at? You know what I'm saying? I know all the cars are different. You can mess with the camera views, but I think it'll be a good idea to actually like dive into the into like the game or settle, turn it on, go into cockpit view, and that way we can set this up like right where we where we actually want it when it comes to being in the car. So still got a lot of work to do on this, man, but just wait, just wait, just give me a little bit more, wait until this thing is done. It's gonna be amazing. All right, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get everything attached. Let's get this solved. We'll be back. We'll get that taken care of. Okay, let's go ahead and get these unboxed and open. This will be quick. This isn't like a full unboxing where we're going to be reviewing all of this stuff. We're just cracking this open as part of the build. Um, again, this wheel, anyway, has been out for so long and no reason to really break down this or do a whole unboxing, but we'll go ahead and get everything out of the box here oh this is so cool this is different because check that out there she is there's the wheel this is funny because uh again this is an xbox branded wheel my other one was playstation so it's kind of funny to uh yeah it's kind of funny to see this green my other one was blue so that's that so we'll go ahead and actually crack it too real quick and uh and just get that open. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about this wheel. I'm excited about this whole thing. Um, again, I've had this wheel before, so I'm really, really familiar with it. Um, again, they uh, they do such a good job with packaging. So as you can see right here, we have um, some buttons. These buttons you can replace on the uh, on the steering wheel. So we have the buttons there, and then here is the actual wheel. And it is a really, really nice wheel. Let me get all of the stuff off of it. Move this box over out of the way a little bit. Now again, this is an Xbox branded wheel, but I am, I am building this rig for the PC. So of course, uh, Windows, you know, Xbox is Windows, and it'll, it'll work with the PC just fine. So, oh, this is exciting. This is nice. So here's the wheel. Hopefully you can see a really good view of the wheel and how that is. Beautiful Alcantara. This leather, right? I mean, this wrap right here, this Alcantara is so comfortable. I so wish I had this in my mind. We are making progress. We got the wheel attached. I think we got it all centered up how we how we like it. So there we go. Wheel's looking good. Next step is going to be going ahead and installing that monitor deck, okay? Hey, what's up? So we got the win last night. You already know I'm repping for the Bills. So good win last night, man. We're having an amazing season. What does that have to do with the build? absolutely nothing <laughs> but but it has everything to do with everything man great great uh, uh season we're having bills mafia all my bills fans out there what's up what's up all my people from buffalo what's up what's up day four day four of the bill man and it should be the final day so uh this is probably part two i think i'll do days one and two and one and then you know Split it like that. I'm super tired from work, man. I know I look crazy. Probably got bags under my eyes and everything, but excited to get this thing done, man. I'm excited to to finish up this process. Uh, we got the we got the pedals deck in today. We got the pedals and we got the shifter in as well. So we are ready to rock and roll. We're gonna get all of this put together today, um, and I'll show you some other things that I got going on here too in a minute. All right, so a little progress of what we did yesterday. We still got a lot of work to do, but uh, I did go ahead and get everything plugged in um, in terms of the wheel. I'm sorry, situated in terms of the wheel. And I got a settled course up here. 
just waiting, you know, waiting, uh, waiting for me to hop in the, hop in the driver's seat. But uh, I went ahead and I got everything like super tightened up yesterday in terms of like my view and exactly where I want like everything to sit. So we're making progress, we're making moves. Let's go ahead and bust these pedals open. Let's bust that wheel deck open and we'll get it popping. Hey, what's up, what's up? So we got a few things in today. We got the Fanatec Club, Pour, uh, uh, Club Sport Shifter. We got our pedals and we got our low cell deck here. So we're gonna go ahead and crack all this stuff open, get it open and uh, see how everything looks. Now, I've had these pedals before, so I'm really familiar with, uh, I've had this whole setup before, so I'm really familiar with these. I already have an unboxing on my channel, so if you're interested in the unboxing, go either to the channel, check out the Sim Racing News and Reviews, unboxings, and you'll see this. So this is not like an unboxing, unboxing, you know, where I'm gonna show everything in the box and get all detailed. I've already done that. I'm really just opening these up for the for the build. So boom, there we go. CSL Elite Low Cell Kit. And this is gonna be for the for our break. Now um, a lot of people might ask me, yo, why did you decide to go with uh and I may have talked about this earlier, but and, and I may say it a few times on this video, but why did I decide to go with these pedals? Why did I decide to do this specific setup? Well, the reason for that is because I want something to work up towards. Yes, could I go out there and get the V3 pedals and get this and get that and get a podium wheel deck and all of the all of the uh, the Ferrari uh, you know the Ferrari wheel and this wheel and the F1 wheel. Well, yeah, I'll get there eventually, but I really want to I really want to take my time and work up to that. You know, and it'll it'll actually be a lot of fun. I feel like to be able to to uh, to kick this thing out over the uh, over the next little bit here. So there we go. There's the pedals, and uh, so we'll move that out the way. We'll get the rest. We'll get that open a little bit more here in a second. And then here's the shifter. And this is probably this is uh, this is one of the my favorite parts of this entire setup. If you're look, if you're in the market for a shifter, if you're in between, if you're looking at that TH, uh, what is it, TH eight A or whatever that shifter is, if you're looking at that shifter, I wouldn't do it, man. I would go ahead and spend just a little bit more money and upgrade to this club sport shifter because it's really amazing. Again, full review, full unboxing, I should say, of the club sport is already on the channel. So I'm not gonna be fully um, unboxing any of this stuff, or I'm not gonna be, what I, should, what I should say is, I'm not gonna be doing a whole, you know, in-depth unboxing and, oh, this is this is that blase skip. You know, I'm just getting everything out of the box. Again, Fanatic, Fanatec, however you say it, Fanatec, man, they do such an amazing, amazing job at their uh, packaging. Everything is really, really nice and tight in here. And that's what we want to see. So instruction manual set off to the side. I love, I love the, uh, I love the shifter because everything is just so, it's such high quality. Oh, this is good. I think this might be a little new. Uh, I'll have to look at some reviews, but I don't know if I remember the, the branding right there it might have been there but i don't know that i remember it so man Woo! she's so beautiful man this thing is amazing this thing is absolutely amazing uh they got it in there they got it tight right now it might be locked but uh but yeah this thing is um it's in sequential mode so i love this this is this shifter is amazing I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off right now. Cause uh, I'm gonna more so be using, you know, driving GT3, stuff like that. I'm gonna wanna be more so using the sequential mode than anything on top of the fact that, uh, believe it or not, I don't know how to drive stick. <laughs> I do not know how to drive manual at all. So um, yeah, oh, that's cool. That's nice. So got those open. And we'll get everything else open here too. Why not? Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Gotta open it anyway. Might as well open it on camera. Let me make sure.
All right, so we're gonna get this low sale kit all opened up too. Again, full, full unboxing is already on the channel, okay? So we are not worried about doing this full unboxing and all of this stuff. Now, what is really important is that I keep all of these, all of these components together. So we'll set that back in there. I just don't wanna lose anything or throw anything away. I have so many boxes in here, it's very easy to throw some stuff away. And this is different. Uh, this is new. This didn't come uh, a couple years ago when I bought this. This didn't come this way. So there we go. We got some cool little stickers here, man, that I'm definitely going to use. I'm going to use on something. I'm not sure. I might even... We'll see. All right. So again, no super full in-depth unboxing. I'm not even going to pull all of those smaller components out, but we will pull out the the break, the break with the load sale. And there we go. See the load sale kit right there. Break, you can switch these things around. There's actually a kit. Now, if you happen to buy this and these brakes are, you know, too soft for you, which I would highly doubt that these brakes will ever be too soft. You might get a little bit of uh, on the top end but there are some other pieces in here um, as well that you can that you can fit in here. Uh, they're they're different kind of um, they have different like tensile strength, if you will. And so some of them kind of compress down more than the other ones. And so you can really get this break exactly how you want it. Um, so I'm excited about this. This will be something I have to kind of play with, and it's really easy how you adjust it. It just you just push in like here push in with your thumb and lift it out. And then uh, you can interchange, hopefully you can see that. I don't wanna drop any of them, let me hold it. Ooh, let me hold it straight up. But then you can interchange some of these pieces out with some of these pieces and all of these have different kind of tensile strength. So you could take one of these, it might be a, have a little more tensile strength and you could take that off and then put it in there and it's not gonna compress as much when you when you push it, things like that. You could even take, there's this little damper down here, right? And you see when you get to it. So actually let's switch it around so I can show you what I mean real quick. So you can take all of these off like this. I don't think that bottom one comes off. That bottom one stays on there, right? And let's say you wanted to move this piece a little bit further down. So we just put it back in like that. And then this is gonna change the fill of the brake on the top end. Ooh, and you'll see what I mean here in a moment. So we'll take this little piece. This piece also has a little thing in it, so be very careful. And you take that again, oh, sorry, again, push up on it just a little bit, snap it back in there. And now, oh, see, I thought I moved it down, but you get the drift, I moved it up. But now you can see the strength is a little bit different. You get a lot, you get you get this here, but once you break this right here, once you break that, man, breaking is gonna be a thing. I would never have the first one right here. That's just, you know what, I wouldn't want my break to be that light. But anyway, like I said, this wasn't supposed to be a full review. It's a little unboxing. And, uh, and we're good to go. So we got that taken care of. And we'll, we're gonna get those all installed here in a minute. And last but not least, where did the actual pedals go? Uh, okay, we'll get the brake and the gas pedal. Or this is gonna be the clutch. This will be the gas and the clutch because we're gonna have to move everything around here. So again, full review. I show you exactly how to uh, put the uh, put the sale kit uh, brake sale put the sale on there. I'm sorry. I show you exactly how to put the the brake sale kit on the uh, CSL Elite pedals. And uh, yeah, there's so so much packaging. There's so much. There's so many uh, components in here. I don't want to. I don't wanna start taking things out until I'm actually ready to, to deal with them because I don't wanna lose anything. But you get the point. 
These are gonna look a lot similar. They're gonna look very similar to what I just showed you, but what you'll see is there's no, there's no, uh, there's no load cell there. This right here, uh, it will be the clutch. So, yeah, and you can do modifications to this. Of course, you could, you know, if you wanted this to give a little bit more, you can. You know, there's all types of things that you can do here. So. Again, let me put that back in the box because I don't want to lose any of these components. I don't want to throw anything away. So, so there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and get everything installed now. Uh, start working on getting everything unboxed and installed and uh, just kind of document that process along the way. So again, thanks for rocking with me. This is day four of the build part two. Let's get it. All right, so we are almost done, man. This is one of the last steps here. Getting this pedal deck put on. So again, I'm 6'6". I'm pretty tall. So for me, I feel like these pedals are gonna have to be pretty far back. Now, feel like somewhere around there but what we'll do first though before we try to hold, hold things in place we'll kind of get this get the screws in and we'll at least get the screws in on the slider so Get the screws on the slider here. Uh, so at least they're in there. There we go. And this last one. Right there. Like so. So that'll lock us and then we'll take our, our nuts and we'll just ever so slightly tighten these on here. Okay, so there we have it. This is the, the rough end. That's what I call it, the rough end. Right here. Uh, finally got everything working. It took some time to figure out why pedals weren't being uh, uh, recognized by the PC and all this stuff. So we do got it working. I'm gonna hop in real quick show you guys and gals what we are right now, let you peep it. And then I'm gonna clean all this stuff up. We'll do one last tour of the office slash little game room area here in the crib. So stay tuned, like stay it. tuned. And so it gives you a lot of versatility to be able to, uh, to do some things. So we finally got everything programmed, got everything good to go. Of course, this is rough, a little rough draft here, but in a moment we'll come back through and we'll, uh, we'll come back through and we'll handle um, the rest of the cords and get everything taken care of. But let's get out here and drive. And this is iRacing right here. If you're not familiar with iRacing, definitely get familiar with it. So uh, I was out here. That's it, go! I was out um, driving a little bit here with this. Uh, this is a Kia uh, Optima race car. And it's actually really nice. Like, I mean, it, it really is. Here we go. First drive on the camera hit pole. And this thing feels absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I, I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for better. This definitely feels better than the, um, the, the V1 that I had before, or the, it might even the V nothing. Um, but, I don't know if it, if it had a V or not, but um, this feels a million times better. I um, know they did some updates and things like that. And this thing is really nice. Very nice force feedback. You can feel everything in here. My center is off a little bit because of, uh, maybe because of the damage to the car. Because I was out here running a few laps and, and, uh, I am not a pro just yet, so <laughs> I, was, I was having some fun, kicking up some dirt and, and doing some things, but I mean, this thing, oh, it's really amazing. Oh. And then this car right here, when it gets in gear, when it gets in gear, it lets you know. It lets you 
but you know, man, that it is here to stay. It is not playing around. is nice, uh, something I have to, I still have to, to kind of mess around with, but I think I'm going to mess with some of the, uh, with some of the, um, those other pieces that I can, and see if I can get, uh, get a break a little bit better, you know, I can take that time way better, like, I gotta work it on, this is my first time on this track, so I've never, you know, I don't know anything about this, I'm just kind of, out here watching this line and just feeling it, you know what I'm saying? With this wheel and this system, you can really just feel where you are and kind of make your way around here without, without really knowing the name of the track. And this is a make book. This is amazing. I my, uh, I think my front left is jacked up, so. First time out here on this track, and <clears throat> with this wheel and these pedals, it just it just feels natural. Like it feels like real life. And, and your driving instincts and just come back to you, and you just you're just there. You know, some of these turns are a little tricky, you know? But you just feel the track, you can feel the road, you can feel ah, that shift. You can feel literally everything. I'm in this Kia, I don't know, um, Ford Tech something, I don't know what it is, but this Kia race car, and this thing is amazing. I mean, this car is. Power in and out of these turns. Mm. Oh, too much. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> too much. You've got wheel damage. Yeah. Yes, I, I yes, I have wheel damage for sure. I gotta bring that in. I wonder if they'll show that again. Let's see. Car is all jacked up. What did I do? Yeah, I just gave it too much gas right there and just Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Wow.
Okay, and here we have it, the final piece of the puzzle. Everything else has been set up. This is the final piece that we were waiting for. Show it to you, crack the box open. We'll see what we got here. This right here will change the game for the rig once we get it installed. Let's show you what we're working with here. Nice, nice uh, package in here. And there we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A button box, programmed, ready to go. It's custom button box here, as you can see. Flip ups, toggle switches, all work. All these buttons are programmable. Everything works. You can set set different things here whether you want you know your brake bias maybe your traction control your uh, abs everything there of course engine start everything's programmable here so super nice really nice this right here is from sim racing for you check them out simracingforyou.com let's go ahead and get this installed in the rig hey hey we are finally done finally finally done man Long process, really long process, but finally got it done. <sighs> Was it fun? Yes. Would I ever want to build one again? Probably not, to be quite honest with you. But we got it done, so let's check it out, see what we got right now. We'll take a quick tour of what it is right now, but then we got to break it all down. We actually got to take everything apart. Not everything apart, but we got to take all the wires, get all of that uh, you know, taken care of and looking nice. Um, and set everything up. So we're almost done. We're almost done. You can see it over there. Look at it. Oh, oh, that's just a preview.